I think Riley's death really is a black hole. Um, yeah, just a loss as complicated and sudden and tragic as theirs is going to be. It makes sense. But not only, like, when I look at pictures of them, especially when it's just pictures of me and them, I'm glad I have a few from the last few years. I look at them and it, I appreciate it and I like seeing that and I'm glad that we have that. But I also just can't help but look at it and just almost picture their body just blinking out and just falling into a black chasm and just there being nothingness there, um, which sucks. I don't like feeling that. It's really sad and... Yeah, I wouldn't recommend having that feeling. Um, but it's also like a black hole in the ways that everything before and after and around it is truly being warped. Like space-time, I already had a a pretty loosey-goosey attachment to space and time. But, ooh, especially now, like... Things are warping and shifting in my perspectives and my memories and my hopes and dreams and thoughts about everything. Just the the little three-dimensional plane is going all wonky, and there's a few more dimensions, and uh, things feel real and things feel unreal, and I'm kind of just walking through the shadow land still. Um, but, you know, I'm doing okay. <laughs> that being said. But, yeah, it just really warps so many things because now... It, it's such a monu- monumentous occasion, event, change, death, that it flavors everything around it. Like, the last couple of years, I feel like I've gotten a lot better at knowing my capacity, at saying no, at having boundaries, at... Um, Realizing that like conversation is a two way street, but also at being better at um, being more direct and lots of this personal stuff that I've been talking about and it's constantly working on. But now it's like, oh no, did I get so good at boundaries that Riley felt me putting up like a wall between us? Um, and I know that's not true, but just. <laughs> As you've heard me talk about for the last two months, um, these sorts of thoughts and uncertainties are going to come up. And it's, yeah, it's just so annoying because alternate reality where Riley's able to find the proper treatment and kind of help with the addiction and be able to be more honest with what's going on and all those things. Alternate reality, like... I'd be looking back on things that I've done over the last couple of years and, and like be feeling so good about them and like to know that I was able to give like love and care even though I was trying to figure it out. But there are a lot of things that I feel like have been really good and I was able to give a lot of love and support. Um, and that's 100% true. Like even though now the black hole of their loss kind of warps that to where even though it's literally the same love and care, regardless of the outcome, like that one little thing didn't change the outcome. I'm sure Riley felt loved and appreciated in those moments. Um, but now just because they're dead, it, it warps that perception a little bit. And I'm trying to, Obviously, like, right here is me trying to intellectualize that and to speak it and to acknowledge that feeling um, in hopes of dropping that feeling and trying to not hold guilt and trying to kind of smooth out the weird time warps of my perceptions and my emotions right now. And I think it will help, but also, like, I'm still... Things are going to be distorted for a while and I don't know it's it's weird and I kind of am just at a point I mean I have been at a point where I don't know I'm going to feel and I've just got to write it out um 
But yeah, it's definitely a black hole death and wouldn't recommend. Um, as always, appreciate all you that listen to me ramble on about the worst thing that's ever happened in my life. <laughs> okay, see ya. Bye. Bye. <laughs>